Hey everybody, welcome back to Slice of Gaming. I'm the only pod 3 on 4 and we are still playing Mary and Luigi Superstar Saga with the Game Boy Advance. And this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. So I managed to get over here. I actually got a really easy one where my right was left and my left was right. And everything was the exact opposite. So let us start our first Koopa fight. Koopaling fight, I guess you could say. Well, let's start off with our usual spamming of the brothers' actions. We've got the points. We've got the items. We might as well do what we can. Okay, let's just try to get this one at best. I don't have many of Luigi's stuff actually advanced for some reason. So we want to launch his fireballs back at him for a counter attack. There we go. They're actually pretty easy, all of them. They have pretty much the same sort of abilities. But later on, some of the Cooper Brothers, their attacks might change a little bit. Because it'll actually pay some homage to the, you know, Super Mario world, like Wendy Koopa, there's the pipes. We'll see when we get there, I guess. Iggy Koopa is pretty basic, like he was in the original Super Mario world. There he's dead already. Lots of experience, which is nice. At the end of each battle, it'll probably open up a new doorway to the next little section. Let's continue on with our adventure. Still looking for oops. That's actually gonna start that battle anyways, but whatever. Anyways, what I was trying to say is I was I'm still looking for some new enemies I can show off here. There's a couple of them I know. So there's quite a bit of battles in this section. I apologize, but I am trying to just find some new enemies I can talk to you about. Oh, crap, I messed that up. I really don't like those guys because their attack is really random, as I've said before. But you sure get a lot of experience points in this area. We okay, obviously can't go up there yet. Oh, there's a new enemy up there, but we can't attack him quite yet. I think everyone will know him from the original Super Mario World as well. Bean spot, that really doesn't matter anymore, but you can get them anyways. Unless you want to go back to the cafe and get another chuckle bean thing. Okay, before we get into that knife fight, I'm going to take care of this guy. And there might be a little bit more battles, like I've said before. And the guy up there, aka Kamek, is a magic Koopa. Oh, I hate that stupid thing in the middle. What? How did I knock down to that? That's cheap. I don't know if I use a stupid brother's attack yet. Oh crap, that was a healing thing. Let's see if this is healing or not. Nope. I guess we know what the weakness is. So for these attacks, they'll do two different attacks. One is that fire ring that you've seen. Sometimes it'll attack both Mario and Luigi, depending on which way the ring is facing. There's also different types of magic creepers that we'll see later on, like some will actually heal, and some will power up the strength. They'll have different coats on. I'll explain that more later. Damn it, how did I miss that? Stupid pixels. I'll just finish these guys off. Want to heal itself. Okay, you know what? I'm not messing around anymore. Not messing around. We're in the last dungeon, we have no time to screw around. Nice bit of experience points. Of course, those spikes are from um, Stardust Field, so you should know how to take care of those by now. Oh. Crap. I had a feeling that was going to happen. Can't use my brother's actions. No. Take care of these guys with haste. Oh, you that's not Killing yourself. Like a coward. There we go. Alright, let's use... Oh, let's use our brother's attacks. Like I said, I don't really feel like screwing around or getting around in the battle right now. So I'm not going to. Yay! Alright, we got ourselves a level up. Once again, I'll do my off-screen battling when I'm not recording like I have always done for you guys. So I'll probably go back and fight those gunner guys later. These guys here. Oh. Okay, cool. there. And now we'll use our... These little pedals to go across. We haven't seen them in a while either. Last dungeon will test all your skills and make sure you remember everything. 
make sure you remember all that you've learned. Alright, let's go in here. Which Koopa is this? Oh, it's Roy! Anyone who remembers Roy had the, his um, heaviness to boot. So you want to jump over these seismic waves, I guess you want to call them that. And we're in for our second Koopa battle. With Roy Koopa. Each one of these Koops are- or no, it's Morton, never mind. Roy is, Roy is the- bleh. Roy is the one with the sunglasses. And actually, each, um, one of the Koopa brothers is named after an um, artist, a musical artist, like Iggy, Iggy Pop, um, Ludwig von Koopa, obviously is named after the singer, or not the singer, sorry, the composer. And Wendy is named after Wendy O'Williams. And there's a few others. I'm not sure who Morton is named after. I'm not in the know of music too well. Also, sorry, get back to the actual battle. How many times you'll flip around is how many waves you'll have to dodge. So if he flips around three times, it'll be three waves. Oh, screw up that one. The reason why I'm using these two specific hammer techniques is because they're not advanced yet. So, so there's three, one, two, three. It's a little bit hard to identify, so. Oh, he was easy. Didn't get my double experience, but that's okay. And that opened that path way back in the beginning there. So let's whoop. And we're automatically taken there, so that's nice. Let's avoid you. Go up these stairs. What's over here? Anything interesting over here? Oh! And there's one over here. Nope. Let's see. Nothing over there. Other than this upper path. Spin it across. Let's see if there's anything down here. Oh, can't go down there quite yet. There's anything below first. Always have to check both paths. Okay. Oh, no. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Don't attack Luigi, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, he's doing it. Damn it. Okay, well, whatever. Let's just take care of business here. Oh, there's the advance that I wanted for that. Now well, that's three out of four attacks that are events from Mario. Oh, that was too soon. Damn it! I missed again. Oh, now you attack Mario. Let's see what else I can use. This one hasn't been advanced yet. One. Oh, crap. It's not good. Well, I'm just gonna do that. I'm going to look against thunder. I find a lot of things in here weak against thunder. Not so much fire, maybe it's because of the fiery palace, I guess. Who knows? There we go. Alright, don't know how he's taking- oh, that was a kind of a funny face there. I don't know if anyone saw that, but kind of made like a little smirk as he was dying. Alright, let's continue along this upper path here. Spin across. Whoa! I don't like that. Damn it! I don't like fighting you. Okay, I'll use my hand power. Guess I could have done it to kill the other guy, but not that it made the difference. There must be a way you can tell the difference between which attack is going to use. I couldn't see one. Then again, I couldn't see the Cacoletta one, and apparently you can tell if it's the one that uses both its arms. I guess. So that is the one you want to attack. So next time you're at Cacoletta, that is how you defeat her. Alright, now we throw one over here. There we go, that was easy. 
Oh, we got one that's time now. Oh, crap. Catch it. Catch it. There. Can't go. Oh! I was just gonna say, I hope I don't start at the beginning with that. Alright, let's see who our next Koopa is. It's, um, Lemmy? Oh, yeah, I forget which one the real one is. I'm gonna guess this one, I guess. Nope. I have to do this until I guess the right one. Uh, this one? I'm gonna guess a few more times. I honestly don't know if there's a way to tell. Alright guys, um, this is where I will end this part, so we will do this battle when I come back, so I'll catch you later, see ya!